Use the menu on the right hand side to help navigate around this video. At any time, hit the home button to get back to the start so you can get back to the menu again. Creating a new document is a very easy thing to do in Google Docs. All you have to do is first you need to be signed into one of your accounts. And so here I'm just going to show an example logging to one of my education accounts. So at this point, it looks like the Google screen, but if I'm logged into my Google Apps account, if I go up to the top, you can see there's nine little squares there. If I click on them, this shows me all the Google Apps I have available to me. And you can see Docs is right there. So I'm gonna click on my Google Docs. And at this point, you can see I have uh, four examples of Google Docs. These are the Google Docs that are in my um, uh, storage of the documents. But to create a new one, all I have to do is at the bottom right hand corner click on the red uh, plus sign here you can see it says create new document as I hover over it and you instantly have a new document you can name it up here I'll just write name it and you can start writing away on it right away uh, the great thing about Google Docs is if your computer crashed or for some reason it got turned out turned off every stroke is recorded instantly if you went back to it and looked into your Google Docs like so, you can see this first example is already saved there without having to save it yourself. So I'm gonna show you another way to uh, get into your Google Docs and that is uh, right from a document itself. So if you go up to the top left hand where it says file, just go uh, click on that, look at the new and you can also create a new document from there. One last way I'm gonna show you how to create Google Docs is to, we're gonna go back to our Google Docs home but this time we're gonna actually move to our drive. Then there's a few different ways to move to your Google Drive. If you ever see this triangular symbol in those colors, that's your Google Drive. Uh, you can also move across to Google Drive right there too. So in this case, I'll just click this one to move to it. So once you're in your Google Drive, you have um, another option to create your documents uh, from within here. All you have to do is hit new. You can see there's our Google Docs right there. Or we have an example uh, right here too, new file, Google Docs. And so whatever way I choose to do it, it's gonna create a Google Docs. Uh, so again, here's my blank document and I'll just write uh, hello on this one. And if I, for some reason, closed it, and you can see right away that it's right here. So this is inside my Google Drive and if I went over uh, to uh, back to my um, Google Docs uh, where everything's being stored. The, what I see from this view are only my Google Docs. When I'm inside my drive, I see everything that gets saved in there. And I have a different tutorial, tutorial on how Google Drive works. So that's just a quick little uh, a bit of information, how you create a document and how you name it inside Google Docs. Another basic feature in Google Docs would be inserting an image. So to do this, go up to the menu, and look where it says insert. Click insert, and you notice image is the first one. Click on image, and it takes you to a screen, where a box, where there's a number of options how to get your image into your document. So for example, on upload, all you have to do is click choose an image for upload, and I'm just on my desktop here. I'm gonna click this. This will upload my photo. This photo is around a three megabyte one, so depending on your internet speed, um, how long it takes, but you can see that as it's almost completed here, there we go, and it's a large photo. So let's say I don't want all of this photo. I just want to focus on their faces. So what I'm gonna do is crop it. So I click on the photo, make sure it's selected. I go to my crop tool, crop image, and when I click on that, these black bars uh, handles appear. So all you have to do is pull these black handles to where you want. You could also use the corners uh, to kind of size the whole thing. I tend to kind of go from the, the angles a little bit more of the sides uh, like that. So now you can see I have just their faces selected. I'm just going to hit return. And then I have a cropped picture from where I started. Another uh, way to insert an image is go back to image and you can take a snapshot 
I believe this is a self-explanatory one, just using your webcam that you have to have installed to do this. Just click, take a snapshot. You can insert by URL. So if there's an image you'd like to take off the internet somewhere else, all you need to do is copy the URL into it. I'll give you a quick exam example. So here's an example of a Google Apps for Education. I'm just gonna right click on this. I'm gonna go copy image URL, go back over to my uh, box that was asking for that, paste it in there. And what usually happens, you get a preview right away. And if that's what you want, you hit select. And you can see it goes into the document. Another way to insert would be insert image. If you had an album, I have nothing in my album right now. It also connects to your Google Drive. So if you wanted an image through from your Google Drive, for example, if I, this is the Google Docs image icon, there you go. And then the last way you can insert an image, I'll just go back, would be through a search. So you can search um, different things. And all these, when you do the search in here, uh, what it does, Oops, I should hit the right thing here. Uh, what it does is uh, searches for pictures, and these should be royalty-free uh, things too, so that there is no copyright and you're allowed to use them. So I can select this one, and it should go right away into my document. You can see how large it is. Any of these images, you can resize them to make them smaller and crop like I showed before. The other thing you can do is when you select your image, you have a few different options uh, to change the color, the transparency. You can see there are a few different colors. If I wanted to play with the different options, if I wanted to turn it uh, into a negative, uh, I'll just go back to no color. I can also change the transparency, which means how much do I want to be able to see through it. I'll change that back, and I can change the brightness of my photo. It's a little too bright and I can also change the contrast if I wanted to play with anything. So those are some options to the images that you can do. You can reset everything, close this up. But those are a few different ways you can insert images into your Google Docs. Sharing is a great feature in Google Docs. Let me run through an example of how easy it is to do. All you have to do is hit share in the top right hand corner. So let's say in this case, I have a example essay here, which is really isn't a real one, it's just a template. And I wanna share this with my teacher. All I have to do is hit the share button up in the top right hand corner and enter the email address I want to send it to. So in my case here, I'm gonna send it to one of my different accounts so I can kind of run through the full example of it. Now, on the right-hand side, I can choose what type of permissions I want to give to my teacher. I can give can edit, can comment, or can view. If I give can view, all the teacher can do is just look at the document I send them. If I can give can comment, they can comment on it. But if I give can edit, they can comment or they can edit it. And that's what I'm going to choose to do in this case. So I choose can edit, and I hit send. I could have wrote a note, but I'm not going to. It just shows up in the email. You can see right away, I'm left with a note up top. It says shared with one person. So I'm gonna switch over up top to my email and my other account. And you can see I received an email showing that I had I received a email from myself. And so when I go into it, you can see the title of, of it is the ideal pet. I can choose to open it in docs right here. So I'll just click to open. And at this point, I'm getting an exact copy. Well, it's not really a copy because I can edit it and it will edit the persons who shared it with me. I can see up top, it will show me how many people are on it. So in this case, I know it's only shared with one person, but if there was more, it would indicate across the top here. So that's how easy it is to share. When you share something with somebody else, you get it in a couple different places. You get it in your email, but you can also go back to your drive. And I'm gonna just switch to my Google Drive here to show you that inside your shared with me you'll get a document called the ideal pet so anything that anybody shares with you goes into a couple different places you can get an email of it but if you ever check your google drive you'll get a copy of the ones that are shared with you too that's how easy it is to share
Commenting is the last feature I want to talk about in this video. Now, I'm going to run through an example of how I would comment on a student's paper. Now, I still have open the, two, the previous document that I had shared, and you can see as I switch back and forth, I have one account here. If I look at the top here of the student's account, you can see that I can see one person's looking at it right now. If there was more people looking at it, there would be a longer list. And this would be the teacher's view over here. So if I was reading the student's paper and I wanted to make a comment on the beginning, all I'd have to do is highlight maybe the section I want to talk about and hit the comments. If I just hit the comments here, then I can say something like, uh, great start uh, and hit, hit the comment. Right away, if you go over and I'll jump over to my other screen, you can see the student will receive that comment in highlighted area that they know where I'm talking about it. It's that easy to comment on it. So each time the student could reply a message, thanks, and then reply. And then if I went back over to the teachers, uh, there it is, there right below it. So this is a very nice way to make comments on, a, on a, any type of work that the student's sharing with you. They can have it, read it on the side, and they can add to their work as they go along.